Hello and welcome to my Soma tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up mod dependencies so that you can use asset packs for your mods. Specifically I will be using two add-on packs, the Amnesia asset pack and my Winter asset pack. Let's go into the mods folder. I have downloaded both required asset packs and placed them in the mods folder. Now, this is not enough to actually have the assets available for the mod. If you open the editor, you will see that the assets aren't there. Let's open the entry.hpc file from the mod that we set up in the last video. If we want the assets from those packs to be accessible in the editors, we need to put the packs UID values in the dependencies field. We can get the UIDs from each add-on's entry.hpc file, copy and paste them in the mod's hpc file and separate each of them with a comma. Once that is set up, we can launch the level editor and see that we have the assets available from both asset packs. So if you want you can create a Soma mod using both Amnesia assets and winter themed Soma assets. Feel free to make the winter Amnesia mods you always dreamed of in HPL3. After releasing the mod be sure to change the mod settings in the workshop and specify that you require the asset packs or add-ons that you referenced in the entry.hpc file. Users will not be able to launch the mod if one of the asset packs is missing. If they try they will get an error mentioning the missing UID when trying to launch. Of course, if you want you can also add custom assets that are specific to your mod. You just have to specify the folders in the lookupdears.cfg file and in the resources.cfg file. Now let's take a look at how the asset packs are configured. If we take a look at the entry file we can see that they are set up as add-ons. Their UID has to be specified so that other mods can set them up as dependencies. Frictional Games naming convention seems to be author name pack name, so that's what I also used for naming my UID. It is important for the add-ons to also have correctly configured resources and lookup dears in order for the assets to be visible. Since this is an add-on, there is no need for a main init.cfg file or a config folder. Like this, you can create your own asset packs and upload them on the workshop or on moddb. Conventionally, add-ons are used for larger amounts of data that is usable across multiple mods. So if it is only the data for one monster or a few assets, you are usually better off simply including the data in your mod. Now let's try playing for a bit with the assets that we have. <laughs> 